Hey, what's up, YouTube? Yax is your boy Daddy Easy here, aka Crash Over, otherwise known as iPod Jailbreak Hacker. And today I'm going to be showing you how to fix MMS on the OS 4.0 software update. If y'all just jailbroke to um 4.0, I'm going to show you how to fix the MMS on your phone, so you can actually send out MMS um multimedia messages. So what you need to do is go into Cydia. If y'all wondering why everything is a little bit different, the way how I sound and everything, I am using my HTC HD2 phone. It's the first time using the, uh, my cell phone to do a video. So I'm not really sure how the quality is going to come out. Hopefully it comes out good and so on. Um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add a source to get this program. So you can basically put it in. It's going to be, this program is going to actually be going inside your winter board. Um, so it's going to change around some things that you may need to do. So I'm just going to cancel this real quick. Just going to cancel that real quick. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Like I said, it's going to go to, um, your winter boy, basically for this setter. So what you're going to need to do is go to manage. I'm trying to just skip between this loading thing. Just bear with me for a minute just so I can reload the data. But like I said, you need to go to manage, you need to go to sources, then you need to click add, add, and you want to put in a source called cydia.xlease.com, which I want to show you right now. Just going to go to manage, sources. And as you can see, the program is right there, cydia.xlease.com. Now, once you got that, you're just going to go over to search, and you're going to type in Supreme Preface 3.0. So you don't even have to put that much in. Okay, sorry about that. You're just going to type in SUP. R A and there we go right there. Sorry about that, y'all. My um my phone's just a little bit slow today. Okay, as you can see, there's the preference right there. I already installed it. I'm just gonna click on it real quick. And as you can see, it's already installed, and modified. So I'm just going to back out. Now, once you get it, you're going to notice you're going to see this icon different. Um, I'm going to explain about that a little bit later on. So once you got that, you're just going to click in settings. And as you can see right here, it says Supreme Preferences. Now, before you actually get this, before you actually go into your settings, what you need to do is go to Winterboard first. Once you sign Winterboard, you need to go to Themes, select a theme. Then you want to click on Supreme Preferences, then let it respring. Once your iPhone has already resprung, you're going to notice that your icon is going to look like this. Just click on it. Like I said, I'm going to explain this to y'all later on. Later on during the video. And once you do that, you're just going to click on Supreme Preferences 3.0. Once you're in here, you're going to click on Application. Once you're inside Application, you're going to go to Phone. And once you're inside Phone, you're going to turn that on. You're going to click Singular Data adding on. Once that's on, you're just going to back out. Well, sorry, I didn't mean to go all the way back out. You're just going to back up as so. Then you're just going to go to regular general network and it's going to give you singular data network. 
Now if you ain't have this before, now you have it on there. Now, one thing you have to do is go here and put this information into your phone. Everything here. And that'll be it. Like I said, you got to put the information in. I got to correct some stuff on it that um, I had on here. And I got to re-put all the information I had in because I accidentally messed up one of the stuff. So I got to change one of the... Actually, the MMSC. I actually put one of the wrong numbers in. So I'm going to come back and fix that up. And I'm going to come back to you and show you that it works. So stay tuned and I will get back to you in a second. Okay, YouTube Yax, I'm back. As you can see, I just put in the information that I needed to put in. All this information right there. And so we're just going to back out. Now, if you're worrying about this icon, I'm going to explain the icon to you in a second. I'm just going to show you that this program does work. I'm going to go to Messenger, click on it. And there we go. There's the icon right there. Just to show you that it works, take a picture that's already inside my camera roll. Picture of Tony Ja. Use it. And there you go. It's on the MMS. And you can actually send it out, do whatever you want. Now, to people that's having issues about that right there. That's just the icon. Um, like you can always um, um, SSH into your iPhone. Go to Supreme Preferences 3.0 and just change the icon to the original icon or to whatever you want. It's just the theme icon. Nothing changed with your setting thing. It's just the, um, as you downloaded it from Cydia, some people just change icons for different things, and you notice it's a settings um thing that's basically switching everything around. So. If you want to go back to your regular theme, to the regular icon, you can always switch back your icon thing. There's nothing simple about it. I'm just letting you know that it works. It's just the icon, okay? It's your boy Daddy Easy, aka Crash Override, otherwise known as iPod Jailbreak Hacker. And I will catch you guys later for my next video. But um, before I shut down this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to what is it, Ritica 2008 for coming across this. All credit goes towards her, so subscribe to her, rate to her, comment to her, and I'll catch you guys later. It's your boy Daddy Easy, aka Crash Override, otherwise known as iPod Jailbreak Hacker, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.